Hey, what's going on guys? It's OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Uh, today we have so much cool information going on. Uh, what I highly recommend guys is stick around till the end of the video. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you about uh, a little bit about a channel specific event that's coming up where you have the chance of winning stuff um, uh, worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This is the biggest giveaway ever done for Art of Conquest. Uh, we are setting uh, new milestones here, uh, hundreds of dollars worth. So stick around until the end to actually get that information. For today, we're going to jump in and uh, we're going to take a peek at the Colosseum. So for the Colosseum, there's a really good thing to take advantage of as far as the store is concerned. So the first thing is you're actually going to need... Um, you're going to need at least 500 coins for the Colosseum. So yesterday, thanks to Philly EG, big shout out to Philly EG. He's been playing with us for, I don't know how long, uh, multiple years at this point in time. So uh, Philly's a great friend um, and uh, I really needed the 500 uh, coins in order to do the video for today. And he let me hit him last minute to boost me all the way up to rank five uh, without having to really hit too much of, of our own house in Colosseum. Um, so, anyways, thank you to Philly EG. We're actually able to do this. So, uh, what is really awesome right now in the uh, Coliseum store is you can buy the the shard thing. So, it it if you are uh, if you're missing any of the shards or the prisms, get this because every prism counts. You want this. I think right now there's a total of five that you can possibly have. Now, if you already have five of them, uh, then you might think that this is uh, worthless to get. So uh, that's what I thought at first. And then I saw a couple screenshots from the OGC community chat because it's the greatest chat ever in game. We're almost at four chats, uh, which are all like just packed full of people. They are an awesome resource for the game. Anyways, if we go to buy this, let's see what happens because we already have, uh, what is it, five prisms? So what happens if we spend 500 points? And it looks like we actually get um, all 500 of our points back and we get a bunch of free chests. So uh, this is pretty cool. It's an easy way to get uh, six extra prism chests uh, and we have all the points back. Now, what I highly recommend for purchases is, I, I think there's only five things in here that's worthwhile getting. If you guys are on a uh, lower or a newer server or if you're uh, lower level, then I would consider also possibly getting the dragon glass. Uh, although, yeah, you, you can get 400 dra dragon glass. So if you're on a newer server, you're struggling to level up your dragon, uh, the the dragon glass is there. Never ever buy the soul fire. Um, for me, I, I don't think the alchemy stones are worth it. So the four things that I highly recommend uh, getting, uh, as long as you have like the your main dragon maxed out and the research dragon done, what I highly recommend is make sure that you get all of the building rush. Uh, that should be a uh, priority. Uh, get the runestone chests. Um, so I guess it's five things. Once you have all the building rush and the runestone sets, uh, then go for the chakras. Um, so in this case, uh, we're just going to buy all of the tombs. Um, and honestly, uh, we'll get these. I, I don't think uh, these are necessarily worth it, but we'll get the sutra scrolls. Now, once you have those four purchases done, you have all the building rush, uh, all the rune stones, and then whatever you need for chakra. Uh, all of your other points, guys, the only thing that you should consider getting is troop rush. You can get a ton of troop rush for, from uh, the Colosseum. Um, so you get this troop rush and all of a sudden uh, you can uh, just stockpile that up. I think it, if we look at us, uh, we, we get like 83 days worth of troop rush saved up. So we have a, a bunch of time available. So the next time that we go to a war server uh, and we switch Lich, uh, we can actually keep stockpiling troop rush. Uh, troop rush is, is super important for the game. So definitely, uh, definitely hold on to as much of that as possible. Jeez, look at all those juicy resources. All right, so in other news, there is uh, there is some big stuff coming up. The Void is now uh, getting 20 more levels. So this will be coming out sometime soon, uh, probably in the next two to three weeks. So if I pull up the handy dandy uh, uh, calendar right now, it's probably going to be about June 2nd, possibly June 9th, that we're actually going to be able to go into the Void and start working on Void uh, 161 all the way up to 180. 
few things to note if you guys are looking for tips when it comes to the voids, especially with brand new voids coming out. When brand new voids come out, uh, there's going to be a lot of equipment that comes out with the new voids. What I highly recommend, if you're not already farming alchemy stones, now is the time. Start, uh, start, start working on uh, getting alchemy stones, saving them up. So uh, probably in tomorrow's video, we'll look at uh, some specific gears for right now that are really good at getting you specific stats that you're looking for. But as new gear becomes available, especially from the void, since you can make it flawless and really maximize the amount of uh, stats that it gives, people are going to jump on this ASAP. So um, I, I'm planning on doing that as well because uh, it's one way to stay competitive and hopefully above the curve of, of other people. So what, what do I mean by that? Uh, what I mean by that is... Do, do, do. I, think, I think I need to change everything. Uh, so, so something like the, uh, the, the veil that came out in the void 140 to 160, I, I think that's when it came out. This right here, uh, if somebody's trying to win like the magic set, uh, this is the go-to thing. If somebody is trying to win the might, magic, and stamina, this is huge. So people that were able to uh, get this flawless on like all of their characters, um, they they were able to get uh, an advantage over people that, that just didn't. So um, I want to be on that curve this time uh, where we're able to do that. Also, another great example is the uh, wolf skin uh, armor stuff. It gives, uh, it's the only armor to really give uh, magic, like really, that, that you can put on all of your heroes, not, not just like a specific class. And it gives an insane amount of stamina. So there's, uh, there's certain items that when they come out, they're just going to give you so many of the stats that you want. So it's important if you are not farming the alchemy stones yet uh, to start stockpiling up as many alchemy stones as you can. When the new void levels come out, you're really going to want to focus on that. Now, if you are not quite at void 160 yet, perhaps we're still a little bit new, um, that is okay. Save up the alchemy stones and then watch, uh, subscribe to this channel and watch uh, the, the channel because I'll fill you in on uh, what gears to actually focus for. Uh, so what I mean by that is uh, as more content for the game comes out and everything progresses up, some gears are going to become outdated. Uh, take Hand of Wisdom, for example. Hand of Wisdom was a great, great item overall for a very long time. Uh, it still can be situationally, but as, as soon as other things came out, um, it was easily replaced uh, for things that offer better stats, or uh, even if you're going for stamina and command, it can offer, th there's still better items out there. So as new content comes out, uh, the game progresses. One of those big ways is through the stats of gears. So that means, um, we're going to keep a close eye on the stats of the new gears. Uh, the bonuses from it, like the plus ones to skills, are very nice to, to be aware of. But the big thing is the stats from the flawless items. We'll be following that very closely, so stick around. Uh, and it's one of those things, if we are lower level, um, it's, it's kind of like the blink daggers. Like if, if we're at a lower level, for right now, blink dagger offers the most amount of stats uh, compared to anything else um, as, as far as weapons. Uh, so if we're if we're lower level and we want to play this uh, for like long term, uh, here's the stats of, of Blink Dagger. That's flawless, by the way. That's got uh, what uh, 23 plus 14, so 37 stats. That's insane, guys. Uh, even if we compare that to the Palmer that has um, that has 29 stats, so 29 stats versus 37. That's just insane. Um, but at, as new new items come out, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, that way. Um, if you have a, a target uh, stat point set up for, for your PvP build or whatever, uh, you'll be able to hyper-focus on it. So now for the, uh, the really interesting stuff, um, we're going to have a huge uh, contest for, for this channel. It's probably going to be, I, honestly, I, I don't think anything else in Art of Conquest uh, will have the sheer size and volume as far as the re rewards that we're going to be giving away. Um, uh, all, all thanks to a person in game. I need to ask him if it's okay to d disclose like who he is in game or how he wants to be referred to. I, I don't want to like blow up somebody's spot if they don't want it to be. But we have a community member that is donating a custom built gaming computer. Um, the specs will be out when, when we actually put together the uh, competition video. That is not this video. Uh, we're just uh, starting the hype. Uh, so. 
it i mean we're talking about a a, a gaming computer like a, like a pc shipping and handling is paid for um <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy uh no i don't think any any no other channels ever come close to giving away this uh type of stuff uh, they they're, they they can all uh, have a comfy seat in second place um and I don't even think Art, Art of Conquest has given away anything to players of, of this value where it's worth hundreds and hundreds of uh, USD. So it will be really cool to actually be able to provide this to you guys. As far as the actual contest, stay tuned. We'll have more information um, and we'll have a video just for that. What I can say is if you guys want to uh, take part in this, uh, there's only one way in which you can take part of it. But everybody can. This is equal to everybody. It's not specific to one uh, one type of person or uh, anybody can take a part of it. But what I can say is in order to actually apply to, to join the contest, when it starts, you have to go on to the OGC Community uh, Art of Conquest uh, Facebook page. To get to that page, if you go down into the description of this video, it's the, going to be the very top link. So the top link in this video will bring you to that Facebook page. So with that, guys, make sure that you go uh, jo join the uh, join join the Facebook page, and uh, that way you guys can be the first person to get the information for this amazing contest, which is not out yet. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. There's also more cool information down in the description of this video and all the videos. We get the Patreon page, which is the best way to support the channel, unless you too want to donate like a crazy thing uh, because there is in fact a donation button down there there's the merch store there's a bunch of cool stuff so uh, make sure you like share subscribe stay tuned uh, for this giant uh, contest that is coming up um, hopefully within uh, a few days we'll, we'll have all the information I'm so excited join the Facebook group and I will see you guys tomorrow take care guys